Hey folks, nothing beats a good battle map when you're playing your Dungeon Dragon sessions, and today I'm going to show you how to use those in Roll20. I'm going to show you how to find and use uh, maps that you found online in Roll20. I'm also going to show you how to use the purchased maps from Roll20 using the marketplace, and I'm also going to show you how to fix those pesky grid issues that pop up from time to time using the Align Grid tool. So without further ado, let's get started. What's up folks, I'm Alex Story and welcome back to the fire and battle maps are a central element to Roll20. Arguably, battle maps are kind of the biggest thing Roll20 has to offer when compared to live in-person tabletop RPG play because rather than spending all the time, effort and money uh, making, you know, these beautiful sets that you see, you know, awesome companies like Critical Role using in their live play um, with like Dungeon Forge and whatnot, uh, you can just make uh, a digital tabletop for much cheaper. Um, you don't have to spend any money, you can just get artwork, make tokens, and you have a pretty compelling grid-based combat scenario in a matter of minutes. And sure, uh, combat doesn't always have to be done with a grid, but if you and your players are like me and my players, you can get a lot of enjoyment from the tactics that come from using grid-based combat. So, And this tutorial, in that case, is going to be right up your alley. So first off, I'll show you how to add a battle map that you found. And there's a couple places that I recommend using battle maps, um, but probably the number one place is going to be r slash battle maps. It's just an amazing subreddit where artists kind of come to post their amazing art uh, for free and, uh, you know, in turn, you know, give them some feedback and whatnot. So uh, I'm going to show you this. This is Luna's Altar at Night by Ori the Cartographer. And when you're using maps that you found online, there's a couple things that you'll need to make your import into Roll20 a lot easier. And the first one is obviously the file, so you need to download the file, but the second one is the dimensions. And a lot of artists post these dimensions already, so you'll have them available to you, uh, and I can show you a way around that if you can't find the dimensions, but we're going to be using this 26 by 48 for our dimensions. So once you know that, once you have the file downloaded and you have the dimensions from Roll20, all you got to do is click on the page toolbar in the top right section of your screen here, the little page, and it'll bring down this menu. You'll hit create new page and you'll get this blank white page which i just clicked on you'll see it on the screen and to alter what this looks like the dimensions of it you just click on the little gear next to the page here it's untitled let me just name it we'll call it the luna luna's altar whoops make sure my hands are on the right part of my keyboard luna's altar at tonight right that's what we're gonna name it and we're gonna hit the page settings and then I'm going to change it to those dimensions that I saw before, which I believe are 2648. Let me just double check. 26 by 48. That's good. So it's going to be 26 wide and 48 tall. And we're going to hit save. And you'll notice that my square has now become a big old rectangle. And now I just got to add the art to the map. So to add art to the map, I think you can literally just click and drag on it. Let me just try it real quick. Yeah, you can. So you can literally just click and drag on it and it'll upload it to Roll20. So if you have your folder open, it'll drag open. Uh, but if you wanted to do it manually, you can see in the top right section of the screen while this is uploading, you could just go to your art library, which is a picture of little photos, and then click on upload there. But uh, clicking and dragging always works as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it over to the top left. And I'll show you, this is a really cool trick um, when you're trying to stretch these images to fit your grid, is put it to the top left corner of your map here your page and then click on the bottom right corner hold down the alt key on your keyboard if you're using windows it might be option or, or control or something for a mac but alt on windows and then you just drag it out and oh i did some weird stuff couldn't snap but let me just there we go so i drag it all the way and you'll notice that the grid in roll 20 perfectly matches the grid on the artwork and it's a perfect one by one match there's a perfect overlap and by the way I'll quickly show you how to change what the grid looks like. So if you hit the settings button here, you can go down and scroll down to the color of the grid. So, or sorry, scroll down to the grid here. You can change the color. It's like this gray by default, but uh, you can change it to black or white and you can change the opacity. So if you turn it down, uh, it'll be more clear. You can't really see it because there's a grid already on this map, but you know, that's how you change that color if you want the grids to look a different color. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how do you add a map that you've purchased because uh, if you're using roll 20 maybe you're checking out their marketplace and you're purchasing maps there so to do that click on the page toolbar then create a new page 
and we're gonna go to our blank page here and we're gonna go right back up to that art library on the top right corner now instead of going to my library which is all the stuff that I've uploaded to row 20 I'm gonna click on premium assets it's got all that my marketplace purchases here and for this demonstration I'm gonna use uh, some artwork from Gabriel Pickard who is a uh, popular uh, artist that I use at least um, he makes these this set called the quick encounters and uh, which are just little battle maps and just like we did before I'm gonna stretch this out just so I can read the rest of it he has the grid here so they're all 25 by 25 but I'm gonna take this little bayou here of this little hut the shack roof I'm gonna drag it open drag it over to the map here and just make sure it's oh perfect fit 25 by 25 now I'm gonna make sure it's on the right layer so right now it's on the token layer I want it to be on the map layer so I'm just gonna right click on the token here and click on map layer boom there we go so now it's on now it's on the map layer there we go perfectly sized 25 by 25 they can have a little combat encounter at this like little shack in the middle of the swamp um so that's two ways you can do maps now the next thing i want to show you is what to do if the grid is a little off because maybe sometimes you're finding art that you don't know the dimensions of or maybe you're just uh i don't know it just it's just weird artwork that you just want to make sure that you set it right um to do that you're gonna take your artwork so in this case i'm going to use this winter pond campsite by user dusty's battle maps you can see that dusty's battle maps they probably have the dimensions maybe on their patreon here what we're looking for so if we did a little bit more research we could probably find what it is but the reddit post does not have the uh the dimensions but you can see that there's a grid here and as long as there's a grid on the artwork we can train a roll 20 to perfectly map the artwork here and i'm going to show you how to do that so i'm going to quickly save this image here to my battle maps folder and this is going to be kind of this uh this winter pond campsite kind of save it there there we go it's downloaded and now back in roll 20 i'm going to go back to that folder and I'm just gonna drag the winter pond campsite over to the map. Now, remember, we don't know the dimensions, so we're not gonna mess with the dimensions right now. We're just uploading the artwork, and I'm gonna show you an awesome tool to make sure this grid matches. So just like before, I'm gonna make sure it's on the map layer, and uh, let me close this page toolbar. And I am going to just make it as big as I can. I'm not gonna hold down Alt or Shift this time, because I want the proportions to remain the same. Whoops, and it snapped, so I'm actually not going to stretch it. So I'm not going to stretch it because I don't want it to snap. And I'm just going to zoom in as much as I can. And this is a little bit tough to see because the grid, we have to kind of ignore the roll 20 grid here. But if you right-click on this artwork here, hit Advanced, and then hit Align to Grid, it'll have you click and drag over the grid on the artwork. So we're just going to do a 3 by 3 grid. So in this case, I'm going to click on the top left there, and that wasn't perfect, so I might actually try again. Uh, I'm just going to click on that top left corner there and drag it. We're just doing a 3x3 three three grid, so Roll20 knows exactly how big the cells are. And it's like, oh, it looks like your grid cells are 29 by 29 pixels. We're going to do a line to grid. And so now you can see that, yeah, this is pretty much perfectly aligned. The grid from Roll20 is matching the grid from the artwork. Now we're going to zoom down, zoom out a little bit, and as you can see that the map itself is not really all there. So we're going to do what we did before and put it in the top left corner here. And now we're just going to make sure that the we can just add more to the width and height. So I'm going to just keep on adding. It looks like the height is fine. It's like 24. We're going to add like maybe 12 more to the, the width. And we added too much, so I'm just going to knock it down by 4. And I think that's everything. Let me just double check the, the height one more time. Yep. So at the end of the day, this was a 33 wide by 24 tall map here. And now it perfectly aligns the grid. And we were able to do that without knowing the dimensions by using that align to grid tool. So yeah, that's three different ways that you can add maps to your roll 20 game obviously the fourth way is to you know manually draw it um and you know even use tokens to build maps and whatnot but uh 
that's for another video. And that's how you add maps to Roll20. And before I get going, just let me know who are some of your favorite battle map artists in the comments below. I would love to feature them, take a look at their artwork, and just use them in my games because I'm always looking for awesome art. But uh, yeah, beyond that, if you like the video, go ahead and hit like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, stay toasty. I'll see you guys later.